blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. And together, let us pray the power of purity. Almighty God, you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. God of every nation, by the light of a wondrous star, you led wandering magi to the humble infant Jesus revealing to them your salvation for the world. In the miraculous and the mundane, in union with all who have glimpsed the light of your grace, lead us to Christ, that we may offer our worship and serve him with sincerity of heart. For he lives with you and the Holy Spirit forever, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And on this New Year's Day, uh, as we have a prayer for a new year, let us pray. This day is a new day that has never been before. This year is a new year, the opening of a door. Enter, Lord Christ. We have joy in your coming. You have given us life. and We welcome your coming. I turn now to face you. I lift up my eyes, be blessing my face, Lord, be blessing my eyes. May all my eye looks on be blessed and be bright. My neighbors, my loved ones, be blessed in your sight. You have given us life and we welcome your coming. Be with us, Lord. We have joy, we have joy. This year is a new year, the opening door. Be with us, Lord. We have joy. We have joy. Amen. Amen. Our first lesson, a reading from the prophet Isaiah. Arise, shine. For your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the people. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes, and look around you. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from far away, and your daughters shall be carried on their nurses' arms. And then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice, because the abundance of the sea shall be brought to you. The wealth of the nations shall come to you. A multitude of camels shall cover you, the young camels of Midian and Ephah. All those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and frankincense 
and shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let us pray Psalm 72 in unison. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the king's son, that he may rule your people righteously and the poor with justice, that the mountains may bring prosperity to the people and the little hills bring righteousness. He shall defend the needy among the people. He shall rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure from one generation to another. He shall come down like rain upon the mown field, like showers that water the earth. In his time shall the righteous flourish. There shall be abundance of peace till the moon shall be no more. The kings of Tarshish and of the isles shall pay tribute, and the kings of Arabia and Saba offer gifts. All kings shall bow down before him, and all the nations do him service. For he shall deliver the poor who cries out in distress and the oppressed who has no helper. He shall have pity on the lowly and poor. He shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence, and dear shall their blood be in his sight. Our second lesson a reading from the letter to the Ephesians. This is the reason that I, Paul, am a prisoner for Christ Jesus for the sake of you Gentiles. For surely you have already heard of the commission of God's grace that was given me for you, and how the mystery was made known to me by revelation. As I wrote above in a few words, a reading of which will enable you to perceive my understanding of the mystery of Christ. In former generations, this mystery was not made known to humankind, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and the prophets by the Spirit. That is, the Gentiles have become fellow heirs, members of the same body, and sailors in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this gospel, I have become a servant according to the gift of God's grace that was given me by the working of his power. Although I am the very least of all the saints, this grace was given to me to bring to the Gentiles the news of the boundless riches of Christ and to make everyone see what is the plan of the mystery hidden for ages in God who created all things. So that through the church, the wisdom of God in its rich variety might now be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. This was in accordance with the eternal purpose that he has carried out in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have access to God in boldness and confidence through faith in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
glory to you, Lord Christ. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him, calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. Well, my Facebook memories popped up, and a year ago today, I was on the Mexican Riviera looking at the Pacific Ocean and celebrating the marriage of James and Sandra. My, how a year has gone by. But Happy New Year to all of you, and Happy Feast of the Epiphany. At St. James, the wise men are usually placed in the back of the nave, but this year they were over here in the library, and they have slowly made their way up to our creche to honor their visit to the Christ child. Today we celebrate the visit of the wise men presenting gifts of frankincense, gold, and myrrh, gifts befitting of a king, the fulfillment of prophecies that they had studied, guided by a star, and coming face to face with God in the flesh. Today is a day, the day that love was revealed, a love made known to these sages from Persia, love made known to the Gentiles, love revealed to all the world. All our readings today point to this event of love in the flesh revealed. The prophet Isaiah tells us to arise, shine, our light has come, our hope. Jesus has come as God's love and light in the flesh. We have come out of darkness into God's wonderful light. And we are coming out of this COVID darkness and coming into the light of a new year. Vaccines to end the pandemic, new beginnings, new learning, new opportunities. Jesus taught that we are to love God and our neighbor, that we are to bring God's kingdom into the world and its hallmarks will be justice and righteousness for all people. We make this promise in our baptismal covenant. Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? And we answer, I will, with God's help. Paul writes to the church in Ephesus that he became a prisoner for Christ Jesus for the sake of the Gentiles. Paul became the apostle to the Gentiles. We are beneficiaries of God's good news of salvation through Jesus because of Paul. Paul used his arrest to spread good news to all who would listen the rich and the poor, the marginalized and the powerful. The Jesus movement spread in spite of the intentions of the most powerful religious, social, and government institutions who tried to squelch it. And Matthew writes of the contrast of the earthly King Herod with the birth of Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. Herod is all about earthly power, He's evil, oppressive, violent, and manipulative. His spirituality is evil as he seeks to find this newborn king so he can pay him homage and to have him killed. Love revealed. Love takes risks and wise men are warned in a dream not to return to Herod. 
Joseph and Mary became the parents of this love, revealed, and they took risks of reputation and status because of this child. And because of Herod's threats against this child, they fled to Egypt, becoming an immigrant family. Love revealed to us. And how will we reveal this gift of love we have received in this new year of 2021? Well, I've been talking with Al and the Peace and Justice team, and we've had conversations about how we can focus our intentions on ministry this coming year. And there are two things that we want to look at. Due to COVID, we had to stop our conversation on prison reform and reformative justice. Sue Bennett inspired us a year ago as she shared her story about her son, and he has been incarcerated, and we've asked you to write to Nick. Here is his Christmas card he mailed to me. Listen as I read part of the card. Dear Don, thank you for the birthday card and all the others you've written me. It means a lot knowing I have people out there thinking about me. He writes a few things about what's going on in his life and things that I've shared about what's going on in my life. And then he writes, hopefully we'll have a vaccine soon and things will start opening up around here. Other than that, I'm doing pretty good though. Someone sent in the whole Game of Thrones DVDs and they play a few episodes every day on the movie channel, and now I'm hooked. Fargo on FX just ended, so I need to find a new show to watch now. Thanks again for staying in touch. It feels good to know people care about me. All it takes is a card and a stamp, and love can be revealed to others. I've spoken with some of our older members who have been isolated from family and friends because of the COVID situation. All it takes is a phone call to stay connected. We've had to rethink what pastoral care looks like. And so a card, a phone call can make a difference sharing God's love. And some of you have been doing that with your neighbors and friends and others. And Mike sitting out here, I think of Doug and we'll have to catch up to see how Doug is doing. This is also the first Sunday of January and it's our first Sunday offering. And we hope you will participate in giving a little extra this Sunday by going online and making your donation or mailing a gift into the church. We ask, what could we do rather than just divide up our offering to help others uh, in different agencies? And they've been very appreciative. We've raised awareness of some of the agencies in our area and what they do to help people in our community. But this year, we decided to support just one agency this year. It was decided to support RIP Medical Debt. I shared with you about them in December how this organization has eliminated nearly three billion in medical debt since 2014. Our entire 2021 First Sunday offerings will help people without the economic means or insurance who are strapped by medical debt to find relief. For every $100, they can um, uh, eliminate the debt uh, of $10,000. Um, and so this is something we feel that we can help those because some of you and I have even encountered huge medical debt that was very hard to try to pay off, but we've done it. But this is sharing God's love with our neighbors. And we are going to plan a whole year with the children and family of the parish, a ministry of based on the golden rule. You will learn more about this as we launch Living the Golden Rule and how we can share God's love in our homes and communities. 
I am excited about what God has in store for us as we love our neighbors, no exceptions, and let them see Jesus. Let them see Jesus, God's love revealed through our words and actions. Amen. Let us affirm our common faith as we say, we believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him, all things were in. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With boldness and confidence of God's children, let us pray, saying, Gracious God, Lord of light, hear our prayer. Loving God, in Christ you embrace people of every nation and make them members of the same body, sharers in the promise of the gospel. For the Holy Church of God, that through its faithful witness, the wisdom of God in its rich variety be known in heaven and earth. Gracious God, Lord of light, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Loving God, you judge the people with righteousness and the poor with justice. For nations, rulers, and authorities to forsake violence and be guided by the light of truth, that righteousness may flourish and justice abound in every land. Gracious God, Lord of light, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Loving God, wise men from afar came to visit the Holy Family and found a place of rest and worship. In our parish cycle of prayer, we pray for Peggy Bova, Nick and Bobby Braco, Susan Claybalt, and Christine Delphi. Make us a community and for all who live nearby, that we may be a community of hospitality, welcoming the stranger and sheltering the refugee. Gracious God, Lord of light, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Loving God, in your providence, the land yields prosperity for people that righteousness may prevail in your land. For our planet Earth, that we may dwell peacefully with nature be good stewards of its resources and share its abundance for the sake of human flourishing. Gracious God, 
Lord of light, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Loving God, you defend the cause of the poor, give deliverance to the needy, and save those who are oppressed. For those who suffer the cruelty of poverty and all who endure to transform systems of economic injustice, gracious God, Lord of light, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Loving God, you take pity on the weak. For those whose bodies are enfeebled by disease or whose spirits are debilitated by illness, we pray for those in need of your compassionate touch. Therese, Jim, Alex, Gary, Nancy, Julie, Mary, and Paul, that they may be restored to wholeness of life. Gracious God, Lord of light, hear yeah, our prayer. prayer. Loving God, your servant Paul was imprisoned for preaching the good news of Jesus. For any who are wrongly incarcerated, that they may be liberated. And for those whose guilt is valid and imprisonment warranted, that they may know genuine repentance of their sin and reconciliation with their community. Gracious God, Lord of light, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And we especially pray for those who uh, have been isolated or alone this season. We pray that the note card, the call, letting them know that we care will help lift their spirits. We especially remember today David Gould as he goes back to his group home. We pray for our nation and ask you to help us not to worship personality and power, but to help us to work for the common good for all. Gracious God, because you have called us your children, we are bold to ask for what we need, confident in your goodness through faith in our Lord and brother, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us confess our sins to the one whose mercy endures from generation to generation. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior, Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through the grace of Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace. Peace, peace. Peace, peace. And peace to all of you on Zoom. Uh, we hope that you all had a good New Year celebration. And thank you for joining us this morning. As we prepare our hearts to come to Christ's table, the Magi brought gifts to Christ at his nativity and offered their lives in worship. With thankful hearts, let us offer ourselves and our gifts to God. Amen.
Oh, it's right here. Sorry about that. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good to give you thanks and praise, Almighty God and everlasting Father, through Jesus Christ, your Son. And now we give you thanks because in the incarnation of the Word, a new light has dawned upon the world that all the nations may be brought out of darkness to see the radiance of your glory. So we join our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven to proclaim the glory forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your word spoken through the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be, the incar to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world, in him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread and when he'd given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And after supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory, and we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ 
and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your son in his sacrifice that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ and bring us to that heavenly country where with blessed Mary, St. Joseph, St. James, and all your saints, we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Let us join together in an act of spiritual communion. Let us pray. Jesus, we believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. We love you above all things, and we desire to receive you into our souls. Since we cannot at this time receive you through bread and wine, come into our hearts. We embrace you because you said, Wherever two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of you. Unite us wholly to you, because nothing can separate us from the love of God. Amen. Lead the bread of heaven. The body of Christ can be the bread of heaven. The blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. The blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Now, the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Paul, the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. The blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Amen. Like the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Christine, the body of Christ, the bread of heaven, the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Peter, the body of Christ, the bread of heaven, the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us 
as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. God, ruler of heaven and earth, dismiss you in peace. Jesus Christ, light of the world, uphold you in love and the Holy Spirit, revealer of God's mystery, lead you in truth. Amen. Go forth into the world. Proclaim the good news of Christ. Receive the inheritance of God's promise. Live in the light of the gospel. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Well, good morning, all. And uh, we're going to do a couple things that we need Zoom help with in just a moment. But our birthdays uh, coming up this week, we have Diane uh, Aquaviva, Al McGinnis, and Steve Miner, uh, the second, Ariel and uh, Caitlin, and Carol Regenstrup. So let us pray for your birthdays. Oh God, our times are in your hands. Look with favor, we pray on your servants, Diane, Al, Stephen, Carolyn, and Carol. Bless them, watch over them. May they discover new things about themselves and grow closer to you in their walk with you. We pray this in Christ's name, amen. And uh, Sean and Cindy, and for Bella and Miriam, happy anniversary, and let us pray. 
O oh God, marriage is a sign of your love for your church. And so we ask your blessing on Sean and Cindy, Bella and Miriam, as they celebrate their journeys of life together. Uh, bless them, watch over them, keep them safe, and may they shine God's love in the world. We give you thanks in Christ's name. Amen. Uh, we got a little bit of feedback that the altar lights are kind of high. It, are you all getting that? Because um, when I get up there, it, somebody said that I wash out. And uh, how, how was the view today? Same, same. Well, the other thing we can do is uh, we can test out because the lights are on special dimmers. And so we could see if we can dim the lights later um, uh, up at the altar so you can see better. Um, I don't know if you all know this, but you know, as, as soon as you put on vestments, you just start to glow. Um, <laughs> yeah, a little more rouge. We probably need somebody to do makeup you know, in our production group. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so we'll we'll try to work on that a little bit. We'll play around and see which light might work a little bit better. Uh, we continue to uh, ask if you've not pledged, you can still make your pledge for 2021. Uh, but uh, we need every household to make their pledge and your support will make 2021 a year of new opportunities to share God's love with others. So you'll be getting more updates on that in the coming weeks. Uh, intercession prayer list update. Please send your prayer requests in to Carrie and uh, she will get those added to our prayer list. Uh, ministry reports will be due for annual meeting by, by Sunday, January 10th. So by next Sunday, we just need some updates. Uh, I've received some, but we would like you uh, to do just very brief updates um, so uh, we can just let everybody know what's been going on this year. Uh, town hall meeting will be Wednesday, January 20th at 7 p.m. We'll get that uh, Zoom link out to you. And Mike Pierce and I will make the presentation of the 2021 budget. Uh, this informative meeting will help us understand how we fund our mission and looking to the new year of ministry and outreach. Uh, I have called for the 156th annual virtual meeting. Um, and so that will be Sunday, January 24th after the 10 a.m. mass. Uh, the two things we will be doing uh, basically will be reelecting uh, of, of wardens. So Trudy and Diana said that they would be willing to stand in their roles again. Our parish bylaws uh, say that uh, wardens can run for two consecutive terms. And because of this COVID season and time, uh, it's good to have that continuity of leadership. Uh, so uh, there are no vestry members to be elected this year. Uh, so we will elect our war reelect our wardens. And then uh, if you would like to be a delegate to diocesan convention, we hope that uh, you will let me know if you would be so interested. Again, we don't know uh, what the future, we hope that we might be able to meet together, but it may be a situation that uh, we'll, we'll have to do it virtually again this year. Um, and then there'll be a final presentation of the 2021 budget at the annual meeting. Uh, flower dedications and donations for 2021. Uh, you can sign up for flower dedications by emailing uh, the parish website with your date and uh, any names for dedication or celebrations or thanksgivings. Uh, you can pay online using uh, Vanco or PayPal or mail checks to St. James directly to reserve the date for your remembrance or celebration. Uh, if you would like to pick up your arrangement, you may do so uh, either after mass or on Monday or on Tuesday when Carrie's here. Uh, at this time, we are un un unable to donate or hold on to any arrangements at this time. 
Uh, partially, part, part of that reason is I can't go and visit too many people who are in assisted or senior living because they do not allow visitors. So uh, we hope that you'll take those flowers or we will have to dispose of them. Uh, Christmas offering, we just received another check. So we're at about $3,200. So if you have any uh, last minute gifts, we'll take those uh, for our Christmas offering. Again, thank you for your coats, uh, hats, scarves, and gloves. Uh, that's been a great uh, outpouring. And I'm sure Fish and our um, the Elgin Community Crisis Center appreciates it. Uh, one of the things that I've been wanting to do for a couple of years now, and I'm going to pull on the vestry to help me, and if some of you would like to do that, is that probably as we head into Lent, we will try to do um, 40 days of world religions and um, the golden rule. Uh, every major tradition, every true religion follows the golden rule or teaches it. And so uh, we're gonna reach out. I've talked to Rabbi Margaret. Uh, she'll do something on uh, Judaism and the golden rule. Uh, I'm gonna reach out to our friends at the Batavia Islamic Center. Uh, they actually have been meeting for over 30 years at Calvary Episcopal Church uh, in their building and uh, have met them. They're wonderful folks. And uh, something I purchased hoping to share with everybody, but Unfortunately, I'll only be able to show it to you on Zoom, but if you do happen to pop in and visit us, uh, is the festival year of 2021. And it lists all of the major world religions and it lists all of their uh, festivals. Up. Okay, there you go. See, it's always good to have a production team, isn't it? Uh, so we'll have this available uh, here at the church, but we'll also try to make some of that available online as we reach out to some of our uh, uh, neighbors who uh, some of you uh, are familiar with the Baps Temple on 59. I've actually stopped by and gone into their temple uh, to visit their uh, site. Okay, thank you, Paul. Yes. Um, and so uh, we'll see as we uh, practice the golden rule kind of during Lent to see how we can learn to love our neighbors um, and to do to treat others as we would want to be treated. We have uh, some special things for the kids coming up, as I said, and we're working on that. So thank you all for your uh, continued support and the opportunities we'll have to uh, have fun with uh, mission and ministry this coming year. Well, blessings on all. Be safe, stay warm, and we'll see you next Sunday. And I'll come around and